biking, hiking, my workout routine. Awesome. What's up, YouTube? Look, here's a little day four update for you. Bam. Oh, check this out. Bam. New pillows, baby. This one is gonna be short and sweet because it turns out the middle of the summer is actually like somehow the busiest time of the year. Especially in the Northwest where there's only so many months of the year where you can do most things. So I feel like I need to pack so much in in such a short amount of time, but I also am very limited with the whole like ACL surgery situation. Um, which brings me to update. I am now about two and a half months post-op and I would say very little has changed in the last like four weeks for me. So everything that I show in this video is really applicable to how my last month has gone. And actually a lot of the footage in the gym and everything will have been from over the last month because I'm too embarrassed to like film an entire workout. So I've just been doing little snippets here and there. And overall it's terrible production quality and I hope you enjoy the watch. This video is really gonna be focused on two things what I'm doing for fun at this stage in my recovery and my workout physical therapy routine. Awesome. One of the hardest parts about ACL recovery as an athlete or an active person who's trying to like go move outside is figuring out what you can do when because it is like essentially a trial and error process but you don't have any room for error. So, <laughs> and I think that's probably my biggest advantage per se in my second ACL recovery is I know how to trust my intuition, what feels okay and what doesn't, and I'm a little more tuned into not pushing my limits. My first recovery, I wanted to expedite the process. I just like desperately wanted to get back on my mountain bike and ride 100% and that was really stupid. But this time I'm like, cool, I'm not gonna be getting back to riding my mountain bike 100% before seven to nine months but there is like ways i can ride a bike do other stuff enjoy my summer in the meantime and it's like the figuring out what is on the safe end of pushing the limits versus what is not number one biking love it i've been riding my gravel bike as hard as i want since like week four I did a gravel race in Colorado a couple weeks ago where I was riding in the pack and actually I went really hard and it, I didn't feel bad on my knee at all whatsoever. This was like just two, just over two months post-op, but my leg muscles in general were definitely very cracked. But truthfully, I've been so focused on the strength building portion of this recovery that I have really deprioritized riding my bike in general. I'm not prioritizing riding my bike during the week right now because I personally am not able to make strength gains in the gym while I'm also doing a really high volume of riding. So I do my workouts first. That's my first priority. And then if I feel like I have gas left in the tank in my leg muscles, I'll go for a ride, but being cognizant of what I'm planning to do the next day. And then on my weekends, <laughs> Those are free days for me. So I ride my bike as much as I want and I don't worry too much about it. I do, I still have, I have to, I have to ride my bike. I have secretly ridden my mountain bike on a little bit of single track here and there, just on really easy trails. And I shouldn't even be telling you this and I'm probably not gonna film it because I don't want to like feel any sort of pressure to ride a certain way. Um, but that being said, I might, <laughs> I might. Hiking. I have gone on a couple significant hikes. I went for about a five mile hike on the Oregon coast last weekend. That was at like two months, one week or so. And it actually felt really good on my knee. My other knee, my previous surgery knee, hurt significantly worse during and after that hike than my new surgery knee. So what that says, I don't know. No phone pictures and walking. Stop, stop, stop. I'm dead ass serious. No fucking walking in phones. <laughs> I have gone for some light hiking, walking in like true alpine wilderness trails. Um, and I'm just being super, super careful during this. I'm wearing like really high traction hiking boots. I'm not carrying weight on my back. 
I've been telling myself I'm gonna go backpacking and like trying to make all these plans to go backpacking in the very near future and then I'm like what am I thinking when doing a step down from a four inch box is still like something I have to really think about with no weight so I think I'm gonna cool it on that expectation for a little while. Swimming, I'm doing that now lightly. For a while, my physical therapist was like, please don't do flutter kicks. That can be really dangerous uh, at the early stages after ACL repair. So I was just kind of swimming with my hands, <laughs> but I am doing some kicking. I'm still like hesitant about it. So I'm mostly swimming with just my upper body, which looks awesome. Overall, what I would say for me as far as like testing my limits on what I am capable of versus not at this time, it's just baby steps. Like the first time I went for a hike, I went 100 feet out from the trailhead. I was like, wow, I can walk up and down over rocks. To try for some distance, I walked like three miles on basically walking path, you know, like totally manicured trails here in town. I tried walking up and down some hills, that felt okay. So it's just like I control as many variables as possible. And then once I feel really confident in the situation where I'm at with X number of variables, I slowly like added a couple variables, see how my knee responds to that and keeping my expectations really low, moving slowly and focusing on like the immediate task ahead of me. Okay, now for my workout routine. My physical therapist and I created a workout plan. We have a spreadsheet. It changes every two to three weeks. This is a really useful format for me because when I was trying to figure out everything on my own, I was kind of overwhelmed with like how many different movements and exercises I wanted to incorporate. So I'd go into the gym and try to do like 50 things every single day, which is just too much. So I like this layout because it's, you know, I'm going to the gym every day, but I'm doing something different every day. I'm not doing too much in one day. So these aren't like really intense, long workouts. They're just like slowly building and hitting a lot of different movement patterns. And it's just repetition, good old fashioned reps. <laughs> I tried to film every major movement like discreetly on my phone horizontally at the gym over the last couple weeks. Um, we'll see how useful this is. I think the spreadsheet will be a more useful visual. <laughs>
Although I don't have pain, I do feel worked at the end of the day. So around dinner time, like seven, eight o'clock, I do often get to the point where I'm like, I can't stand up anymore. I can't be on my feet. Sorry, Sage, you can't do the dishes, ha <laughs> ha. Um, and I need to just like be on the couch with my legs up and go to bed.